Hello and welcome to the fourth video in the series of Unity 3D with C Sharp. If you recall where we left off with our last video was on my variable. And if I double click on that just as a quick review, we had a person's health. And what we did is we declared the, uh, the variable and we had it of data type int integer which meant it was always a whole number and the variable identifier followed the rules for uh, variables and then we initialize the variable to a value and then we simply printed out the value so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the arithmetic operators that uh, C sharp offers now these are very important when we are creating games so what I want to do is come here to the camera where I had this attached and I want to remove uh, that script. So I come down here and click on this little button and it says uh, remove component, which you probably can't see, but it will say that. And so I'm going to remove it and I don't have it anymore. I'm going to create a new script and I'm going to right click create and go to C sharp script. And I'm going to call it my, under uh, lowercase, uh, arithmetic, A-R-I-T-H-M-E-T-I-C, and hit enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And there I am in all its glory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to start, uh, for, and that's where it says to initialize. And I'm going to create a variable. Here I'm going to, uh, here's a, a variable decoration. And I'm going to make an integer x and i'm going to set it equal to a value of two i'm going to create another integer y and i'm going to set that equal to a value of six and then i'm going to create another integer z and i'm going to set that equal to a value of zero now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a comment here and i'm going to put uh this is the answer now if you you may have noticed that uh, these little things with the two forward slashes these are called comments and they do nothing to the program the program doesn't even use them the program itself just ignores them but i put comments there for me so when i go back and use this program uh, the comment will help me remember oh why did i have z here what am i using that for and so we're going to be using comments with this. So the first thing I want to illustrate is uh, ad addition. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put z is equal to x plus y. And i got to put the semicolon there. And even though I know this is addition, just to practice using our comments, I'm going to put down addition. I don't have to put a semicolon after that. Because anything that follows the double slash on the same line is ignored by the, uh, by the uh, compiler, the computer. And now I'm going to print the answer. I'm going to put print uh, Z. Okay. So the answer I get here, and notice I did not include Z in quotation marks. Let me just put Z in quotation marks. And let me show you what happens. Okay. All right. So I did the addition, so I, and I put Z inside quotation marks. We know that the answer here should be 8, but let's see what happens. Let's see if we get an error, first of all. So far, no error. Um, we get a little bit of a warning. And then we, uh, we do this, and we... Oh, that's right. I didn't attach this. I have to attach this to something, so I'll attach it to the camera. And then I'll try it again, and here we go. And there it is. We got Z. We didn't get the value that was stored in Z. We got, we got the, uh, the character Z itself, which is not what we wanted. So, and the reason for that, we know the reason, is because I put Z inside quotation marks. If I take Z out of the quotation marks, now it will print the value of Z, which in this case should be 8. All right, let's give it a shot. Uh, save it. And then let's run it again and see what we get this time. And now we get 8. Okay, because now we get the value that was contained in Z, which should have been 8, and it was. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do for my arithmetic operators is I'm going to look at uh, subtraction. 
And so I'm going to put uh, z is equal to, well, if I put y minus x, I should get a what? A 4, right? y minus x. And I'm going to, oh, whoops, i got to put the semicolon. Don't forget, that's the biggest cause of the problem. Errors. And I'm going to put this as subtraction. Even though this is obvious, it's subtraction. This is giving me practice on making comments. So let me put a print. And let me put uh, z here again. And see what the answer is for this. Uh, let me do another subtraction, but I'll subtract the other way. I'll subtract the... Uh, the the uh, the 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 large number from the small number. I'll do an x minus y. Okay, I got to put the semicolon. Remember, don't forget it. And this is subtraction again. All right, and I'll print z again. Now for this, for this, what should I get? Well, for this one here, x is uh, two and minus. 6 is y, I should get a minus uh, number here, right? Maybe like a minus 4. Let's try this. We'll save it, and we'll close it, and then we'll go ahead and run it and see what we get on the output. Yeah, there's 4, and there's the minus 4, because I subtracted a large number from a small number. So I do get negative numbers here. You know, if, I, if I wish, I can do them either way that I want, and that's pretty cool. That's because, in, like I say, in, in games, we're going to use a lot of arithmetic. Okay, let's look at another kind of arithmetic operator, and that's going to be multiplication. I use X, and I use the asterisk, which is right above the 8 key, if I hold down to shift, times Y, and i got to put that semicolon in again. Don't forget to do that. And this is multiplication. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is now print it, so I get I get the answer. I'm going to print Z on the output, and then don't forget the semicolon. So now I should get 296 is 12, right? Okay, let's try that, and we'll go ahead and save this dude, and we'll run it, and there's my 12. Okay, so far so good. Okay, let's go here back to my arithmetic operators. And now I'm going to do a division. And the way I do that is a z is equal to uh, y divided by x. And don't forget the semicolon. And then I'm going to make a comment. And this is division. Okay. And let's see what I get by that. So this is going to be 6 divided by 2. Oh, yeah. And I need to print it so I can see what it is. Print and print z. Okay. 6 divided by 2. I should get 3 for this one, right? Okay, let's try it. We'll save it. Come over here and close it. And then do it out again. And I get a 3. Hooray. So far, so good. Let me divide the other way. I'm going to, uh, I divided here the, uh, the large number by the small number. Let me do a division where I divide uh, 3 by 6, right? I should get a fraction, shouldn't I? Okay, let's see if I do. Z is equal to uh, X divided by Y. At, don't forget the semicolon. And now this is division again. All righty. And then we'll do a print. And we'll print the Z. No quotes, right? We just want the value of Z. There's the semicolon. And I close this. Close this. And I go ahead and I see the division I get. Whoa, there's something wrong here. It shouldn't be a zero. Why is it a zero? I should have got point something. Oh, I can't because the data type is an integer. An integer means I'm only going to be working with whole numbers. So integers are pretty cool to work with. But I got to remember that when I go to do things like division, hey, I got to watch. I'm not going to get the answer I expected because I told it right up here that the data type that I wanted for all of these was of type int. I'm going to have to use another data type if I want to get fractions out of this, like point something, 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 something. And you might say, well, I just won't use any. I'll just always use whole numbers. Well, you really can't in a game because sometimes you're talking distances. You know, how far away is that bad dude that you're going to shoot? And he, he or she may be uh, 12 point 
five, seven, eight meters away. And you might have to do some arithmetic operations with that. Okay, so don't forget, uh, when you're using integers, there may be a little bit of an issue with that. The other one that when people are first introduced to it, they, they figure, well, there's absolutely no use for this. But this is not true. It's called the module, mod operator, or the module. Uh, whoops, I, I did this wrong. Z is equal to, I'm going to do um, uh, Y mod X. And let's see what happens. You might say, what is that? Y mod X. Uh, it's hard to show a use for it right now. Uh, we'll come back, and I, when, when we do this in future videos, uh, this is called the mod operator. And what it does is that it prints out uh, what the remainder is. And you might say, well, now, wait a minute. If there's, a, if there's 6 divided by 2, uh, that's going to come out even, and there is not going to be any remainder. So what's going to be the value of this? Well, the value would be 0. But supposing you said... Uh, 2 mod 6, well, now, wait a minute, that's a little bit weird, and uh, we're working with whole numbers, and this may not come out right. So don't worry too much about the mod operator. Just know that it exists, and it uses the percent sign for that. Okay, and we'll just print out Z, and we should get, hopefully, a, uh, a 0, because there's no, there's no remainder when we divide um, uh, 6 by 3, okay? So here we go, uh, we we'll close this here, close this here, and we'll go ahead and we'll run the dude. And yeah, there's my module operator, I, I get a zero. So uh, these are the basic arithmetic operators that we use in C-sharp, and we'll have a lot of use for these operators in games. So um, anyway, that concludes uh, this video on uh, arithmetic operators in C-sharp. And uh, thank you for watching.